minutes. So enjoy the view. we are ready to go good afternoon everybody yeah we're sit we're good we're <laughs> Thank you. hello uh, hello how are you so yeah okay no, it's okay how you doing everybody good okay as you can tell we are all so excited to be here today at ferry point park in the bronx to launch the new york city ferry service at this brand new landing here in throg's neck Uh, this extension of the Soundview route is going to help so many Bronx residents and visitors to the Bronx reach their workplaces or places to play, like here in this gorgeous park, and other destinations throughout the city much faster. I am so proud to tell you a few things about the ferry system. First, the New York City ferry system has the largest 
passenger fleet in the nation and has become an integral part of New York City's transportation system. And this has all occurred in the last five years. That's when we launched this. So in the last five years, we have gone from zero to the largest ferry system in the United States. And, and this is important because this is a, goes back to our roots. This is a city built on its maritime might with over 500, uh, sorry, not 100, yeah, 500 mil miles of shoreline. It's imperative that we as a city look back to our waterways again for transportation options whether it be passenger or freight or the movement of objects, we've got to use our original highways. And the pandemic has shown us that there is even a greater need than ever. Two, the New York City ferry system has served more than 21 million riders to date. The ridership has outpaced expectations since the beginning and has recovered from the COVID pandemic faster than any other mode of public transportation. And we are so proud of that fact. It is a system that now serves all five boroughs with safe, reliable, daily service. And the service operated that now will start here at Ferry Point Park will continue our existing Soundview route. It will go from here to Soundview, East 90th, 34th Street, Syverson Code, and end at Wall Street Pier 11. And with a total travel time of 60 minutes from start to finish, this is certainly a much nicer, safer, faster way than to get to the lower Manhattan. The new service of Ferry Point Park is part of our ongoing expansion that now includes um, the St. George route in Staten Island, connecting Staten Island to Manhattan's west side, and that we started earlier this year in the summer. So when you arrived here, you might have noticed that there's now also free parking available for riders. And park users got a really nice upgrade to their park as well. It is so beautiful. Um, we're not finished. There's still some items that are left to be complete. But we have, uh, we're really proud of the progress we've done. And so for on that moment, I just want to take a moment to acknowledge my colleagues at the Economic Development Corporation, particularly our ferry team and our capital construction team, as well as our planners, who have worked, and when I say round the clock, non-stop, to make sure that this happens, not only here but throughout the city, I really want to commend you. You've fought and hard throughout the last two years to make sure that this ferry system, so thank you all for your incredible service. And I also want to acknowledge Skanska and our subcontractors who have also worked really hard in challenging conditions to make sure that we made it to this day. So I see you back there. Thank you so much for all of the work that you've done to this. So um, I just want to say thank you all of you who have come um, and are going to celebrate and share this moment with us today. Uh, we are going to start with hearing some from some of our elected officials and community partners who have worked so hard to get us to this day. So first up, I think he said this is his last official event. Um, yeah? Yes. Okay. And I am so honored that his last official event uh, is together with us here today. Um, Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. has been an incredible leader and an incredible partner to EDC. He never lets us take the shortcut and he makes sure that everything is um, delivered for his constituents. So we will miss you. Thank you so much, Borough President. Thank you, Rachel Loeb, to you and your entire team here at EDC. Let me just say thank you for working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year, so that you can have this announcement before I'm gone. <laughs> Um, to all of the good folks at, um, at the city, I'm here joined with my colleagues in government, uh, past, present, and future. We have the former city council member, Jimmy Vaca. We have our current president, uh, assembly member, Michael Benedetto, and our incoming city council member, Marjorie Velasquez. Uh, to all of the community leaders, community board, I see John Morano here. I see Monique Johnson from the Thrasneck uh, uh, Association. Look, let me give you guys a personal uh, 
what this means to us personally. I'm a young boy from the, I was a young boy from the Bronx who, who came to Ferry Point Park with our dirt bikes when it was a landfill, who uh, played over there in Soundview. My sister-in-law lives on the other side. I live on, in Soundview houses. Uh, we fought so hard to make sure that the Bronx, just like the rest of the city of New York, has alternative forms of transportation. We've done that with ra rapid bus service. We've done that with rail, the four Metro North stations. If you came through the Bruckner Sheridan, uh, you'll see in the Bruckner, we've done infrastructure there so that those who are in vehicles could get to and from uh, Manhattan faster. Uh, we've done that with step streets. Last week, we were able to uh, inaugurate the step streets in, um, in Highbridge. And so uh, today, to make sure that we give another form of transportation to Bronx sites, one which will cut down their transportation time, one which is scenic, one which gives them access uh, to other parts of the city, like Hilda and I, we like to go not only to Manhattan, but we've taken the ferry all the way to Far Rockaway Beach with our bikes. This is what we want, this is what we need, and I'm so happy that as my last official event as the borough president, that you, Rachel, the, your good folks at EDC, Mayor de Blasio, and all of my colleagues in government made this happen. And then lastly, let me just say this, why I clap so hard for the parking. Number one, it is free. Number two, it allows for the people who were going to that ferry site with their cars from other parts of the Bronx, it was contentious, and they were losing their parkings over there. Now folks from Throsneck, Silver Beach, from Edgewater, from Pelham Bay, they could come here, park their cars for free without taking the parking spots from the people over there. Thank you all. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. I'll see you all soon. All right. Thank you. Okay, so um, Borough President introduced everybody, but I'm going to call them up to say a few words. Um, as we mentioned, sometimes things take a while, so it takes several several elected officials to get this over the finish line. So first, I'd like to call up Assemblymember Michael Benedetto. Thank you for bringing me up here to say a couple words. It's rather, this is remarkable. It really is. Number one, it was supposed to start at 12.30 and it actually began early. That's unheard of. <laughs> unheard of in these things. And that's a really good thing. It's wonderful being here. I remember coming here as a teenager, playing ball down here, okay, having a, a, a wonderful, wonderful time in this park. This is a beautiful park and an unappreciated park, unfortunately, by the city. But they're sprucing things up. I had to call the attention to the parks department about up on the hill here, some of you, before you go, you can take a, a walk up the hill to see the 9-11 memorial that is here. And they've spruced it up, and it's looking fantastic, as it should be. And now we have this ferry. I remember coming into office yelling about, why don't we have a ferry coming to this section of the Bronx? And Mayor de Blasio heard me. And he promised me that before he would leave office, this was going to be a reality. And today it is. The first trips have already gone away, transporting people into the city. One person today was complaining to my office that she came and couldn't park a car because the parking lot wasn't open. She didn't have a way to get here. But she'll come back tomorrow and she'll be able to travel and travel on that nice little convenient bus that shuttles people up here to the... F this should be a model for every ferry in the city of New York. York, where people can come, they can park their car, they can have a shuttle bus and bring them right on up to it, and then conveniently come to this section and travel into Manhattan. This is something I've been fighting for for years. I've been working with my fellow councilman, Councilman Mark Joni, um, to make this happen. And I'm so glad he's here today to see that it's happening. This is this is great for the Bronx, okay? I applaud Borough President Diaz for all his work on this, and I applaud 
the mayor of the city of New York. He only has a couple more days to be there to, to realize we live on the water. Why haven't we employed ways to travel on the water to make travel easier for commuting. He has done that, done that by setting up this network of ferries and he has included Throg's Neck as being part of that. Mayor de Blasio, thank you very much. Congratulations to everybody here for working on this and here we go. It's a new era. Thank you. Thank you. Not only did we start on time, but we already had ferry passengers come and go. So this is, we're off to a great start. Okay, so we're going to keep moving along. I'd like to welcome also former Councilman Jimmy Vaca to say a few words. And then uh, Councilman Jonah. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. It's great to be back. Um, I will say that when I first went to the City Council in 2006, I remember having hearings about this, and we were fighting for this ferry back in the 1980s when I first became district manager of the community board. We fought, we fought. I go to a hearing in 2006, and at the hearing in 2006, I see all these neighborhoods in Manhattan and Brooklyn are getting ferry service. And I said, what is this? These neighborhoods have two and three and four trains intersecting them, and they are getting ferry service. Frog's Neck is the epitome of what we call a transportation desert. We don't have access to trains. We have very poor access to buses. How do we get to the city? So neighborhoods like ours are the logical neighborhoods to have ferry service. And we fought for the studies to begin, and then some of the studies started to come back really good uh, in my last term in the council around 2015, and we saw that it was feasible. We saw that it needed city support, but we saw it could be done. So this is a great day. But I give you one little piece of history, if you would indulge me. This is Ferry Point Park. Well... You may know that Ferry Point Park was a city garbage dump until 1963, starting in 1963. Then in 1977, the city shifted the garbage to the Pelham Bay landfill. Then in 1977, the city says we want to reopen the Ferry Point garbage dump as a city garbage dump. So uh, at that time, Councilman DeMarco and Mayor Koch were fighting. Mayor Koch would not give in. We have no place else to put the garbage, he says. And basically, many of us active in the community, we thought we lost. So we went to, used to now it's called Home Depot, it used to be called Howard Johnson's on that corner. We had coffee one night, come back, come back in my car, and I says, no, 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 we can't, we can't. This is something wrong here. And I said to myself, well, what is different now in 1977 than 1963? Why shouldn't there be another garbage dump rising up into the air at Ferry Point Park in 1977? And once it got there, it never would leave. This would have been one big garbage dump. Well, the big difference, believe it or not, I didn't know what I was doing at the time, but the big difference was that garbage attracts what? High mounds of city garbage attracts seagulls. And the difference in 1977 was that LaGuardia Airport now existed. And we are in the flight path of LaGuardia Airport. So Mayor Koch wouldn't give in, but we called the Federal Aviation Administration. And the Federal Aviation Administration told the city, you're not putting the garbage back in Ferry Point. Those seagulls would pose an imminent threat to our airplanes leaving LaGuardia. So we saved Ferry Point, and we saved it for something like this. I know that this was in God's hands for many, many years and now becoming a reality. Thank you. This is a great day for all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's a great story. I did not know that. Um, I also want to take a moment to thank the Parks Department, who's been doing an incredible job also taking care of this park. I happen to walk in with a couple residents who told me it's so beautiful. So thank you to all of you who have been doing your incredible work. We see you, and thank you for your partnership. Um, I'd now like to introduce the current councilman for a few more days, Mr. Jenuk. <laughs> you know... I can't help but feel that today's a continuation of Christmas because this is the greatest gift Throg's Neck and the Borough of the Bronx could have ever received. 
but it didn't come without focus, energy, and a commitment. Instrumental, Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. Instrumental, Assemblyman Michael Benedetto, who I know when he met with the mayor and City Hall a few years back, his one request was this ferry. And it held tremendous weight and sway in making today possible. Let alone the four years in the city council, actually the three years before this was a final commitment, at every budget hearing, at every transportation hearing, I brought up the ferry at Ferry Point Park. I told them we went as far as we came up with the name for the ferry. We have a park named Ferry Point Park. All we need is the ferry, and that they did not forget. So today's a wonderful day. This is more than a just a transportation option for a desert community. This is an economic development opportunity for this area, for this community. And when we realize and make that day possible that the Metro North comes in, this area will boom for decades. So this is a great day for us, a great day for the Borough of the Bronx, and a great day to call ourselves New Yorkers as we really feel a part of this city. God bless you and thank you. All right, last but not least, I'd like to welcome up incoming council member Marjorie Velasquez. Marjorie! I think I'm going to have to walk around with a step stool like I did for my wedding. Uh, sorry, y'all, I'm five feet. We make do. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. Uh, my name is Marjorie Velasquez, and I am council member elect for the next four days. After that, I will be councilwoman of the 13th district. So thank you. Um, it is an honor uh, to have uh, council member Jimmy Vaca here today, who led the fight uh, for this. Um, but Batman also has his Robin, and we're also joined uh, by his uh, former chief of staff, Jeff Lynch. So I want to make sure I give out a shout out to him for joining us. And full disclosure, that is my husband and my ride or die. So um, when we get to talking about what this means for me and my family, it means what it means for all of us here. The district is my family. It has been um, going through so much, right, when we're talking about infrastructure and what we have faced because of redlining, because of limited forms of transportation. It means limited job opportunities for our families. It means limited options for folks to come and visit us. It means limited opportunities for our small businesses to grow. Today, it's the beginning of a future that we're going to give to our kids and our kids' kids and making sure that we're building back the Bronx. No longer the Bronx is burdened. Never that. That was why I grew up in the 1980s. Now the Bronx is building back better. And thank you, Mayor de Blasio, for taking the lead on this and making sure that the outer boroughs aren't forgotten. And we're going to work with the Adams administration to make sure that we're keeping on the legacy of the outer boroughs and the attention that we deserve. So thank you all for coming and thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. All right, thank you so much and we so look forward to working with you. Um, okay, so I, it's now my dear honor and pleasure to introduce uh, Mayor de Blasio. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, this ferry system was launched five years ago and since the day that we launched it the mayor has pushed us to make sure that this is a five borough system and that it is a ferry system and a transit system that is accessible and available to all new yorkers so thank you for pushing us thank you for your support also as i mentioned before on making sure that our waterways are available for all means of transportation whether they be people or products or freight so with that it is my pleasure to introduce uh, the mayor of New York. Rachel, thank you. Everyone, you know, what do they say?
Good news doesn't travel as far. This is an incredible example of good news. Not just what we're opening here today, but this whole story of NYC Ferry. Because for neighborhoods all over the five boroughs, this is opening up a world of possibilities. And I have talked to people. I remember vividly the borough president, the first day Soundview opened up. And people talked about it as just changing their life, changing the way they live for the better, giving them a better way to get around, giving them a lot of joy at the same time. NYC Ferry has been an amazing triumph. And the people who did it really deserve our praise. Rachel Loeb running the Economic Development Corporation now brilliantly, but before that as the chief operating officer, and your whole team. Uh, and of course, as uh, Jimmy Otto likes to call him, El Presidente, uh, James Patch, who played such a crucial role, and, and Maria Torres Springer, who is now going to be deputy mayor. Amazing people who made this vision happen from scratch. And, you know, look at the name on the stop. We love Throg's Neck, but look at the other part, Ferry Point Park. Why is it called? I'm sure some of you have already spoken to this, because ferries used to be here. They used to be everywhere in the city. And then that was lost. It was lost, and it was actually the right idea all along, and it needed to be brought back. And our friends, the Economic Development Corporation, outdid themselves, creating something that had not existed for generations and making it work in your city. Let's thank all of them, all your colleagues here, everyone, Hornblower, EDC, everyone who's been a part of this. Thank you so much. Now, to my colleagues, I just want to say a little, little homecoming moment here in many ways. I'm looking at Jimmy Vaca. I'm feeling young again. I remember going door to door with you when you first ran for council. Mark, Joe, and I remember the times we got together in the community way back when. And Borough President, thank you. Our times at Orchard Beach together, including uh, a, a volleyball game that will live in history. And... Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, it's just, just remember the good times. Don't remember the score. Mike Benedetto, you've been a great friend throughout. Thank you for all you've done for us in Albany, but this, this was a passion for you. I remember you saying how important it was to make this happen before we got out of here. And, okay, I took it down almost to the last day, but we got it done. <coughs> and that counts. Marjorie Velasquez, your part, I, you, you make me especially proud because the folks who have been a part of my team in any way, and you've been and your husband has been, there is nothing more beautiful. Jimmy, you know this feeling. There's nothing more beautiful than when the people who are part of your team go on and, well, who are you pointing at? Jeff. Where's Jeff? Where's Jeff? Jeff Lynch, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Jeff, for all you did for the city of New York and our administration as well. We appreciate you. And Marjorie, there's nothing more special than when someone you worked with coming up and you saw a great promise in gets to realize their dreams. You have worked so hard for it, and we honor you, and you are going to be a great member of the city council. Thank you for everything. By everyone, look, I'll keep it very brief because we got a nice wind coming off the water here. So <laughs> it's as simple as this. This city started on the water. We got to go back to the water. We need to literally, this generation, all of us, we have to save our earth. That's our mission. We got to save our earth for our children and grandchildren. To do that, we got to get out of our cars as much as humanly possible. This is one of the ways we do that. When you get on NYC ferry, you're having a great experience. You're going to get where you need to go. You're going to get there quick. It's going to be a beautiful trip. And for those who might like a little beer or wine, they sell beer and wine as well. So they don't do that on the subway. <laughs> yeah, but they do that at NYC Ferry. So this is what we need to do. And I want to just say this. This is the last thing I'll say. This community deserves this. This community deserves to be more connected. And the ferry allows that to happen in an incredible new way. Folks in Soundview will tell you, folks in Red Hook, Brooklyn will tell you, folks in the Rockaways will tell you, change their lives. This community deserves it, but now we gotta go farther. So I just say to all the leaders who will continue to serve the people of the Bronx and this whole city, let's go farther. Let's build a ferry system that reaches every corner of this city. Let's get back to the water. Let's give people a better way. Let's make sure that we work with the MTA so that you pay one fare and you can get on subway, ferry, bus, one ride, go as far as you want to go. Then more and more people can use the ferry and make their lives even better. If we really want to save the planet, and I know we do, 
we got to do things differently. If we want to help people move away from the cars to other great options, let's do something like that. That would change lives for everyone. But I guarantee you one thing. Once you do take a ride on a New York City ferry, you will come back again and again and again because it's amazing. It's amazing and it's beautiful. It connects us to who we are. When you get out on the water, you feel peace. And to everyone who helped make this happen, because you all fought for it, you all advocated for it, congratulations, your ship has arrived.